Welcome to Alphabet City. I'm your guide, Aya Zaktar, and you are the uncanny audience. Today, we're going to stick to just one big topic, and that is the Samsung Galaxy Note 10. Over on Twitter, this render of what could be the Galaxy Note 10 popped up. The front would have a single hole punch for the selfie camera, which is centered. Like the S10, you're looking at very slim bezels on the top and bottom of the device. The back would feature a triple camera setup in a vertical orientation and would be offset to the side. The Note 8 and 9 had its two cameras and a horizontal layout placed in the top middle section. Also not seen is a fingerprint sensor on the back. Now maybe the Note 10 gets a fingerprint sensor on one of the side buttons. The Galaxy S10e has its sensor on the power button. The Galaxy Fold had its rear on the Bixby button. More likely is that the Note 10 goes with an ultrasonic in-screen sensor like the Galaxy S10. Well, how accurate is this picture? Of the render, Ice Universe says this is correct. Ice Universe has had an excellent track record when it comes to Samsung stuff. They also tweeted that this picture of a Note 10 with a pill-shaped cutout is incorrect. The tweet reads, Note 10 and Note 10 Pro both use a single hole front camera, so this rendering is wrong. Ice Universe also says the Note 10 will be the last Samsung flagship to use the same camera tech that has been in Samsung phones for the past four years. Things will change with the S11. And in what should be related news, Samsung filed a trademark for DeX Live. DeX is Samsung's desktop experience. The S8 and Note 8 could use a dock to make the phone more like a full PC. The Note 9 and S10 could handle DeX without a dock. Now, what does DeX Live mean? Well, if the first version of DeX needed a dock and the second used a cable, maybe DeX Live works without wires. So let's talk about the Note 10 design, and we're going to assume that this render is accurate for now. Let's put up the render against the Note 9. The Note 9 definitely has larger bezels. I'm still on the fence when it comes to the hole punch camera cutout. As long as the apps don't make the hole stand out, I think it's an okay compromise, but not great. But then again, we've seen phones like the OnePlus 7 Pro. Look at this thing. No notches, no cutouts. It's a whole lot of screen. The selfie camera rises out of the body. What about Samsung's own Galaxy A80? The rear camera is the front-facing camera because the whole camera assembly flips around. Either way, there will always be questions when it comes to durability once you add in moving parts to a phone. Now, why do I harp on design and looks? Well, these days, there's a lot of competition. Will the Note do anything significantly different than Samsung's S10 or Note 9? Probably not. You get more screen, a new fingerprint sensor, and we'll probably lose iris scanning. So one of the few things that distinguishes a phone from another is the design. The Galaxy Note line used to be the place where Samsung would try out new things. First, there's the original Note. Samsung tried giving a phone a huge screen. At the time, a 5.3 inch screen was ridiculous. The Note also had the S Pen, which kind of seemed like a throwback to the days of the PDA, like the Palm Pilot. The Note 3 tried a strange leather-like backing for a different feel. The Note 4 went with wireless Qi charging and the ability to fast charge the phone with a wired connection. The Note Edge had a design that found its way to other Samsung phones. Then there was the Note 7, which was different for other reasons. I've been using a Note 8 as my main phone for a while. It's a really good phone. The Note 9 added in that remote function to the S Pen, which is a nice touch, but far from a reason to upgrade. All that being said, I'm sure the Note will still have crazy specs with lots of storage and RAM. Here's hoping the Note 10 has something awesome in store. On to Comment Cove. This is the part of the show where we shine a spotlight on the most amazing audience in the world, you. Regarding last week's story on Huawei working on its own OS in case it ditches Android, Krobenik says, back in 2013, BlackBerry said they will make their own Android system. Look at them now. Some harsh words right there. Wings of Destruction says, why would anyone even want a Huawei device when there's so many other options here in the States? You know, I think that the Huawei Mate X definitely turned heads. If that is something Huawei can actually make a reality, it bodes well for future devices. Thanks to everyone for writing in. If you've enjoyed your stay in Alphabet City, please like and subscribe. I'm Ayaz Zaktar, and I'll see you online. Thank you.